All right, uh, so it's your two here. Uh, let's get started from our, our side. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Ari. I'm the Director of Support here at Third Eye Gen. Um, I am joined today by my colleagues, Anthony and Tim, if you guys can introduce yourselves. Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Tim McCary. I'm an AR, <clears throat> excuse me, AR Marketing Account Executive here at Third Eye Gen. And uh, I just wanted to thank you all for joining us today. And uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Anthony Russo. I'm one of the technical resources here at Third Eye Gen. I help, I'll help manage alongside with Ari some of our larger deployments, and I'm kind of the technical know-how on the team. So it's very nice to meet you all. Uh, thank you. We're very happy to have you, Anthony. You're awesome. Um, I'd like to uh, begin by extending a warm welcome to all of our webinar guests this afternoon. Uh, thank you as well to our webinar attendees that are joining from international countries. Uh, we really appreciate everybody taking the time to be with us today uh, for our Remote Eye webinar. Uh, before I begin, I just wanted to let everybody know that the webinar today will be recorded from start to finish and be uploaded to our YouTube page. Also, you can enter your name for the chat on the chat section of the conference call by clicking on the small three dots in the bottom right corner of your screen. You would then select profile and then type in your name. Uh, we'll have a Q&A session with Tim towards the end of the session. If you think of any questions while pr pr uh, the presentation is taking place, please feel free to type them in the chat column on the left side of your screen, and we will let them. We will get to them at the end. Uh, so we'll get started here on our, our end. Um, and also a quick mention, you can uh, go with the Remote Eye platform for 30 days free uh, uh, to give it a shot, um, uh, and we can provide more information uh, at the end of the call as well. Uh, so who is Third Eye Gen? Uh, uh, what do we do? Uh, we're a prominent solution provider in the augmented mixed reality industry, uh, focusing on hardware and software. We're an end-to-end -end solutions provider. Uh, we've had a few decades uh, under our belt, uh, research and development, uh, with some of our first appointments working with the United States Department of Defense. Um, our team saw a lot of potential in the value of emerging technology, especially in the wearable aspect of the tech. Uh, we also specialize in designing and manufacturing AR, MR, technology and including research and development um, on the uh, third eye side. Our organization's goal is to help enterprise workspaces benefit from instant improvements such as efficiency and productivity uh, with the answer coming in uh, for ROI, uh, that being the outcome with all the benefits plus. Anthony, if you can talk to us a little bit about the headset. As Ari mentioned a little bit earlier, um, third eye has experience working with the Department of Defense on AR, MR technologies. Uh, about three years ago, we, we saw it to be fit that we produce a uh, commercial grade headset for general enterprise use. So X2 uh, MR glasses was born. <clears throat> the X2 is a set of, uh, is a standalone wearable device that allows enterprise teams to keep their hands free while completing everyday tasks and operations. X2 is an open platform. It is Android based. X2 is standalone is a standable standalone wearable device. It incorporates the processor, the display technology, the battery, all into one package without the need for any external wires, phones, or packs. X2 is it's a hands-free device which allows you to perform everyday tasks with both your hands without the, the need to carry a phone. X2 has a built-in Qualcomm processor, allowing for uh, processing of uh, AR, MR applications and mixed 3D content. X2 has a built-in uh, high brightness display, up to 500 nits, allowing it to be used indoors and outdoors. X2 also has a set of precise cameras and sensors that allow X2 to understand its environment and objects around it. Internal to X2 is also a dedicated set of motion sensors that allow the headset to track its position within the real world. Thank you so much, Anthony. And just to add, uh, can I, uh, what's connectivity for the X2? Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, correct? Uh, Might have been muted on your side, uh, but let's go back here uh, again. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us uh, for our remote eye webinar here. Uh, some of the challenges that we've seen uh, working with uh, various partners, different verticals, 
and use cases. Um, uh, the challenges that we saw was distance now with the new norm, uh, with the pandemic ha that's happened, uh, we've seen a shift, massive shift uh, in travel needs, uh, um, uh, in organizations needing to rapidly get out there, uh, being able to communicate with field technicians, uh, executives that are traveling, uh, uh, that no longer need to travel uh, due to the solutions that Remote Eye provides. Um, with the Remote Eye tele uh, teleconferencing technology, uh, we've used augmented reality um, uh, to benefit organizations that can begin to limit the amount of unnecessary employee trips to on-site locations, uh, showing an immediate ROI, uh, and also in terms of uh, keeping your team safe and healthy. Um, the solution that we created was the Remote Eye platform, as you see here. Uh, just to mention two of the big differentiators here uh, on our side compared to some of the other technology that's out there, um, low bandwidth application use, uh, used in many verticals, um, as well as the encryption side of the application that is cross-functional, we'll talk more about. But the solution that we saw immediately was the ability to have an expert thousands of miles away uh, communicating back on, onto the field uh, and have various team members across the globe uh, communicating uh, or frontline workers communicating at once, sharing information, 3D models uh, that we're going to share um, as we move forward here. Uh, so some of the benefits here of uh, the big move with 5G that's happened that we've seen uh, coming in. We also provide uh, data packages with uh, uh, with the X2 headset uh, that we bundled together uh, if you're out on the field. Uh, the live video streaming capabilities of the Remote Eye platform, video, audio, and also the ability to assign tasks, have multi, um, uh, multi-person conferencing, all join in on a call at once uh, to see what the field technician is uh, working on or a task that's being performed. You have live photo capture, uh, annotations. And again, the big thing we want to emphasize here is the cross-platform uh, functionality. Uh, so on, on deployments of five units to 25 units, uh, we also add tablets as part of that deployment uh, to start and to run Remote Eye on. Thank you so much, Anthony. Um, so on the telepresence and training, it's a tra uh, telepresence and training platform, again, cross-functional. Um, the big thing is having that subject matter expert at a HQ or at a location in order to, uh, to communicate. And we've seen this heavily across food and beverage, uh, utilities, manufacturing, uh, and several uh, verticals. Uh, you could uh, collaborate, uh, guide each other on tasks that need to be uh, completed, also using an overlay and using some of the uh, functionalities like screenshot and annotations. Uh, the way you control the headset that I have here on my end is using voice commands, also head motion uh, to interact with the UI, you also have the ability to use hand gestures uh, that you can control um, uh, the environment or the UI using your hand, as well as uh, voice commands with hand gestures in tandem. Take photos as well as troubleshoot all together in real time using our remote eye platform. The assistance using a, a heads up display, the headset that I have here that everyone can see, we're not tethered to any uh, external pack. Uh, the processing happens on the device. So the field technician is hands-free while performing his or her tasks out on the field, uh, which has shown a massive benefit uh, across different verticals. Also having a remote supervisor expert, uh, you know, with the press of a button to place a call and to communicate, again, completely hands-free uh, in diagnosing uh, any maintenance critical uh, or repairs uh, that, that, that need to take place uh, while out on the field. Skipped ahead there. Sorry. Yep. No worries. Uh, Anthony can talk to a little bit, a uh, little bit more about the document sharing features on the Remote Eye platform with use of the X2. Anthony. Yes, of course. In Remote Eye, we added the ability to share documents from the glasses and from the web to, uh, from and to the glasses from the web and other devices. We can also transmit uh, files such as photos, videos, uh, instructions, diagrams directly both ways across the system. This facilitates uh, the needs of the workers out in the field and also allows them to report in real time what is going on at, at the scene. The frontline workers will have access to this information right in their field of view while they're working on their tasks. Going forward with Remote Eye, we are planning to integrate a number of external APIs into the system. These will expand the functionalities of Remote Eye, 
Uh, just to cover a few of them, we're looking to integrate with SAP for integration of ERP tasks and workflows. That way you can deploy uh, a set workflow from your ERP system and have it deployed directly to X2 through Remote Eye. Uh, we are looking to integrate national language processing. So that with that, we will be able to do perform live translation directly over the user's field of view so they can understand someone else speaking another language. We are also looking to integrate with SMS systems so that we can send notifications directly via SMS in certain use cases. And finally, we are looking to integrate a uh, system similar to Carbon Interface, which will perform calculations uh, based on how many emissions are being created during a particular task. So for example, if someone takes a flight, what's the estimated amount of carbon emissions that is uh, saved during that time by using remote app? Thank you so much, Anthony. Yes. Um, so what, what's the, our package solutions, again, uh, going back to um, when we first started, um, we're an end-to-end -end solutions provider. We provide the software. We also provide the hardware and capabilities of designing um, uh, hardware as well for any organization. Uh, we provide the data packages, again, uh, using routers. Uh, we also have a, a documentation to show integration into satellite systems for remote or shipping verticals and other um, uh, enterprise use cases. Uh, you, the package that we provide is the X2, the Remote Eye platform, and also, again, the connectivity uh, to go with the headset. And this could be, uh, there's other accessories as well as a package solution in terms of thermo camera uh, for any thermo uh, imaging needed, again, depending on the use case, as well as tablets and also certified phones for first responders um, uh, tailored to, to, for emergencies or whatnot. Anthony, we can talk more about MDM here, our mobile device management that's built into the headset. Go for it, Yes, Anthony. of course. Yep, here at Third Eye Gen, we have our own mobile device management platform, uh, or Third Eye MDM, as we often refer to it. So this is Third Eye's in-house custom MDM platform. Uh, we built this around X2 specifically to deploy content uh, lock devices remotely in case a, a device um, goes missing. Send system-wide messages to all your employees to notify them of a particular event. Deploy, install, and uninstall particular applications while the user is on site. And control the user experience through the use of kiosk mode to limit which applications a user can uh, open or utilize. Thank you so much, Anthony. Of course. Uh, on the support side, I would say this is a massive differentiator for us as a company in terms of the, of the support that you receive uh, as we go on to the uh, phase projects and beginning with Third Eye Gen, you would have an assigned uh, support rep outside of your account executive or, um, or sales rep. Um, so during the initial rollouts of the R technology, Third Eye support team is available 24 seven. That is something that we wanted to make sure um, we, we, um, we provided uh, going into uh, 2021 to assist our customers in any way possible, uh, providing the reliable connectivity, different forms of connectivity based on the region that we're serving. Uh, in the Middle East, if there's an option for Telegram, we provide that service uh, in the best way to communicate um, outside of, uh, of your general support ticket set that we offer. Um, and and those, those connections can be made via video with the initial onboarding call that happens when you receive your phase one deployment, uh, going into individual phone calls throughout the day, a uh, really tailored um, to your team's needs. And this is just our uh, standard phase deployments with pilot phase one, starting off with the pilot uh, program, identifying uh, what are the needs um, and how we can uh, partner up and, 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 and help your organization, vice versa. Uh, going into phase two with the integration process uh, with hardware and software, web-based or on-site installation options are available on the support side uh, and technical side. And then going into phase three, mass nationwide deployment in the case of a, a, a hospital working through the pilot program and then deciding we're going to go into uh, four or five uh, hospitals within that that region after we've uh, uh, proven the use case there and, and watched and looked at all the uh, metrics going into phase four. What's the competitive advantage in today's business environment as well as, you know, how is this technology, how has it changed uh, um, in terms of efficiency, uh, productivity, uh, morale of the team using new technology 
um, using a technology to make make their lives a little easier, especially in today's environment. So these are the first. Uh, these are the four phases that um, that we work with with our deployments, and uh, we could always talk more on this. Let's go back one more here. Uh, the white labeling uh, subject has come up a lot for us, I would say, in, in the last uh, two three years. Uh, we do offer white labeling solutions uh, to end users and partners on the hardware side, also on the software side. And we do have uh, resellers uh, right now that are, are uh, in the white uh, white labeling category. Uh, but again, custom platform for your for your organization. Also rebranding. I know with some telco companies that we're working with now, there uh, was some some talks of a, a color pattern throughout the headset that we can provide um, uh, to match your brand or, or any of your needs. Uh, I'm going to let Anthony, if you could tell us more about our roadmap. This is a, we have a lot of exciting things in the works. I know we've started strong this year. Uh, last year was a very good year for us as well. If you can tell us about the roadmap items uh, for the platform yeah. itself. Yes, of course. Thank you, Ari. Um, here at Third Eye Gen, uh, we are always looking to expand functionalities uh, that Remote Eye offers. Um, to name a few, if not all, all um, we are looking to integrate speech to text systems, which would support multi language, uh, multilingual systems for international teams. So essentially, you could uh, be speaking with another employee who speaks a different language, and you can be understanding them by reading the text on your field, field of view right in front of you while wearing X2. We are also looking to integrate systems such as digital twins and having the ability to scan real world objects and in, into 3D models and being able to deploy those for various use cases, record keeping, 3D overlay of content on top of those real world objects and the like. We are also looking to integrate a 5G cellular chip directly into the uh, X series of devices. That way, uh, connectivity can be provided directly through the SIM card built into the device, and there is no need for any external modems or hotspots. Finally, we are looking at integrating gesture, image, and 3D object recognition. This is tied into our digital twinning system as well. Um, here, we are we are looking to have our devices and remote eye understand the environment, look at particular objects, overlay content on top of that, be it 2D content like text or 3D content, information about the device or in diagrams. Thank you so much, Anthony. And just to, uh, here on the roadmap side, I know a lot of our partners, thank you so much for joining us uh, that have been working with us for some time now, and as well as new partners that have uh, come on board with our company, um, you get to be a part of the the innovation roadmap that we've got going uh, with new headsets in the works uh, that we're gonna that we've announced and we're gonna continue to announce uh, going into the year. But you get to be a part of all those roadmap items. And the entire platform, Remote Eye, we have other platforms such as Respond Eye on the health vertical. All the all of these platforms have been uh, tweaked and, and and customized in many ways for our customers and and developed based on the feedback that we've received. Uh, so one thing we do very well as an organization is listen to, okay, this is something that we might see, we may want to see it in, a little differently. Can we add additional features? We can do all those things. And we're very excited to uh, to bring on new folks and, and, and to partner up and, and create a relationship where you get to be a part of that roadmap with us uh, through the entire process to, to have a long-term relationship together um, uh, and to, to get the ball rolling, to, to make you competitive, not only competitive to give your your, your team a leg up, uh, in today's environment where everything's changing by the microsecond, as we know, uh, we're fortunate to have an amazing team. Our CEO, uh, Nick, um, uh, who's trusted us and, and our folks in, 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 in making the moves that we need to get ahead. So thank you so much to our CEO, Nick, um, who's on this call today. And uh, I just want to open it up here for any Q&A, uh, you know, just a QA, and a Tim, if you can take it over here uh, and we can answer some questions for you guys. Uh, and, 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 and we're always here available to, to to answer questions and, and, and be a resource. That's one of the big things. If you're deciding you know, what headset works for my organization best, uh, what software am I looking to do, uh, please use us as a resource. We can provide this information to you um, uh, and we're happy to do so, uh, just to, to expand on our relationships and to create new ones. Yeah, thank you very much, Ari. Uh, Anthony, thank you both for a great presentation. Uh, I'll give everybody here a minute or two just to have the opportunity to type a question into our chat bar, which is, uh, actually located if you go down to the bottom center of your screen 
and click open chat. Feel free to ask us any questions that you'd like. <clears throat> uh, and in the meantime, while while we wait for one or two questions to come in here, um, Ari or, or Anthony, whoever feels more comfortable answering this question, uh, would you be able to tell everybody a little bit about uh, the pricing structure and plans that we offer for Remote Eye specifically? Uh, sure. I'll start off by uh, uh, Remote Eye. It's 30 days free to get started, uh, where we go through our discovery phase to see how the platform's working for you. And then it's $49.99 uh, per month per user. We also have our uh, mobile device management application that's built into the headset, where you can use GPS to track where those headsets are, are in the real world. Also, uh, control in terms of um, how the experience is going for the field technician and what policy apps they can use. That's $9.99, which is the lowest on the market per month or uh, can be paid out per year. Um, and then we have other solutions. The headset uh, retails at $24.50. In terms of volume and deployments, so we re recommend 25 headsets as first phase. There are additional discounts that we can apply. Uh, we're very flexible as an organization. Um, uh, so those are a few of the things that we offer as well as uh, we also have drone packages. Uh, that's something that we've gotten into as well. We have a, um, a French company uh, or Parrot drones as well as DJI drones that we uh, package together with our um, a drone eye drone application. And that's another uh, item that we can also present um, uh, with, with uh, lovely features down the road that, that are coming in also. Um, but again, uh, that's the price of the headset, twenty-four fifty, um, is the retail price of the headset. Awesome. And then uh, for, I, I believe if you visit uh, remoteeye.thirdeyegen.com, we actually have some of the uh, plans with a little bit more descriptions and, and outlines of uh, number of users, price per user, a feature set, and uh, and so on, uh, if you visit that URL, which is great. So Ari, thank you for that. Um, and then, Ari, you were also touching upon, um, you know, some of those custom solutions that we work with some of our vendors and some of our end users on. Um, if someone, you know, wanted to get started with Remote Eye, but wanted to build out a few of those feature sets, uh, how would we go about doing those custom projects for them? Sure, we would. Yeah, go sure. ahead. No, thank you so much, Sam. That's a great question. We've had a, a lot of inquiries and we have a, a good amount of projects coming into this year for Q1 on the mm -hmm. custom development side. Um, there's been, uh, We'll, we'll sit down uh, with our technical team, our support team, our CEO, who's very much a part of our, our, our uh, discovery process, and, and discuss, okay, what is the customization that's needed? And in one case, we're looking at geotagging with use of the GPS component that's built into the headset. That's a great advantage that we have for the X2, uh, is the ability now looking at customization of those geotags within a warehouse environment and to customize it or and tailor it specifically for this client, for this ma uh, major telco client, um, uh, for their their specific use in a, in a customized project. That's one use case. Um, not to go here with all of our uh, custom projects that we're working on, uh, but we it's about sitting down, developing the relationship, getting to know each other and see how we can be of value, immediate value uh, as, as an organization um, right. outside of, of the sales and, and, and whatnot. That's the first phase. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, and I think uh, as of right now, no one has uh, dropped any questions into our chat box. So uh, we're coming up on a half hour long uh, webinar here, which is fantastic. Uh, again, I want to thank Ari and Anthony for, for doing a wonderful job with the presentation. Um, I, and I think if, if that's pretty much covers everything, we could probably uh, wrap this up a few minutes early here. Uh, if you guys feel comfortable with that, Ari and Anthony. Sure. Um, and then maybe Anthony, while we have everybody here, uh, um, anything you want to tell us, maybe a sneak peek, Anthony, into the future, what we're developing? Is, is it safe to, uh, uh, to talk a little bit about the exciting items that, um, that you know, we, we talked about internally? Any sneak, any, any uh, exclusive here that we can share? <laughs> um, uh, we can generally speak about uh, what we've released um, previously in a, a press release there. Um, so we are, we, are, um, we are looking to release a... Uh, a a more consumer consumer focused device uh, that would be tethered to a uh, phone, uh, so you would connect it to USB uh, to a phone and have be able to use the phone's processor, and then have a set of AR displays and audio systems and cameras right on your head, and then from there you'd be able to run applications on your phone that would display on the headset side as well. Nice, thank you so much, Anthony. Um, and yeah, it's an exciting time for us. I know we're coming uh, down to the wire here, but um, again, you get to be a part of all those, uh, all that new technology that's coming in that we're getting calls about. Um, so we're looking forward to, uh, you know, for, for, for you guys who've joined us, for anybody who's going to watch this video after is uh, uh, to take the leap 
and give us a shot uh, so we can prove ourselves, which we've done. And uh, we're excited. We're excited to help, excited to develop new solutions. Uh, we've got a, a new use cases on mental health with use of this platform, which never existed before. Uh, so we've had some interest on that, uh, which is very interesting uh, stuff in today's environment, especially, and it's very much needed. And then going into the consumer side, as Anthony just gave us some exclusive here, is um, uh, on the consumer side, having access to, to our technology, uh, to the App Store, Third Eye App Store. And then we're also looking at putting Remote Eye into that uh, consumer headset as a secondary option for our partners now. Uh, so, so we're flexible, we're excited, we're happy uh, uh, to be a part of this organization that's growing rapidly. Um, and, and, and again, thank you to our CEO for the trust uh, enlisted in us uh, and our team in, in motivating us to move forward uh, and get this to, get some fun things happening uh, already to the, for the start of the year. Yeah, no, all right. Just one other quick mention uh, before we wrap up here is that if anybody thinks of any questions, you know, after the fact, after the call uh, wraps up today, Feel free to shoot us a, an email at support at thirdigen.com or sales at thirdigen.com. And, you know, both of those departments will get back to you uh, rather quickly. And, you know, we're happy to answer any questions you might have. So uh, we appreciate everybody for joining today. Thank you all for your time. Uh, Ari, I'll let you wrap up the call. No, thank you so much, everybody. everybody. Thank you so much, Anthony, for the efforts, uh, Tim. Uh, our team's doing an amazing job uh, with everything. And uh, thank you so much for, for the audience today. Uh, we're very uh, grateful to have you guys and the partners that have joined us today. Thank you for the continued relationship. Um, uh, and that's about it. Uh, everybody have a, a great rest of your week. Please feel free to contact us at sales at thirdigen.com or support at thirdigen.com. Remember, you could use us as a resource. Uh, if you're deciding, if you're new to the technology, we provide the training on the support side. Uh, so we're an end-to-end -end solutions provider. Uh, so give us a shot. Let's make it happen and uh, uh, stay safe, everybody. Awesome. Thank you, Ari. Have a good one. Thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.